for the Handsome Jack experience. Anybody who does not want to get his mind blown out of his ass should leave the room now. <laughs> All right, you've been warned. Now, when the producers called me about being on this show, found out it's a 60-minute show, so I prepared one hour of kick-ass magic for you fine folks. <laughs> then I get here, I find out the producers have hired a bunch of other magicians, and I get five minutes, because apparently nobody cares about ratings around here. <laughs> so I even printed up a bunch of Handsome Jack Experience handbills. I was going to distribute them to everybody. Gives you the complete rundown of everything I was going to do tonight. It even tells you everything you need to know about Handsome Jack. Ladies, once you go Jack, you never go back. <laughs> That's right. So since we're a little uh, pressed for time tonight, I will just have to tell you about the things you won't be seeing me do tonight. Um, oh, can't do this one. You won't see me doing, there's a hair in my hat. Uh, oh, this is a classic. The Mighty Cheese Whiz. Oh, won't have time to seesaw a woman in two. Uh, oh, this is a good one. The Diner's Dilemma. That's a tribute to civil rights. Oh, no, nope, we've just got time for one this evening, and that is, uh, oh, the Torn and Restored Handbill. Perfect. So, here we go. Don't say anything. I don't care if I fooled you. I'll let someone else win the car. Oh, what's that? The, the prize is not a car. Oh, well, then I really don't care if I fooled them. Um, you know, one of my mottos has always been, magic is fun once you know how it's done. So I'm just going to show everybody how I did that. To do this, I needed a special magician's device called a grappler. I've got a grappler up my sleeve here. I'll show it to you. Now. I had an extra one of those handbills hidden inside the grappler. The grappler is a mechanical device. It shot the handbill out of my sleeve into my hand, and then it grabbed all those torn pieces and yanked them back up my sleeve. Now, it's mechanical, but it's not entirely self-working. It still requires what we magicians call misdirection. I'll show you the misdirection I was using. In fact, I tell you what, I will get up on the chair so you can all see the misdirection I was using. Do you remember I took all those torn pieces and I fanned them out like this? I knew if I was to do a very careful, deliberate action like that, you'd all be staring right up here. And while you were all staring right up here, probably none of you noticed when I went ahead and I <laughs> dropped my pants. <laughs> now, once my pants were down, I was able to get my knees hooked together. And once my knees were hooked together, because of this cable that runs up my arm and down my leg, I was able to get this action going on. Watch, it starts down here and ends up over here. Watch. <laughs> yeah. So you can see, it's not the hands that are quicker than the eye, it's the knees that are quicker than the eye. So this just proves my motto, that magic is fun once you know how it's done. Am I right, people? There is still a problem sometimes you can encounter when you're using the grappler, and that is sometimes the people up close, they can see up your sleeve, and they can see all the torn pieces up your sleeve. And if that happens, well, then you have to resort to plan B. And plan B is what we call taking care of business, handsome Jack style. <laughs> 